today with one of my favorite luxury sedans. This is the BMW 550i Sport. Under the hood of the 550, you're going to find BMW familiar 4.8 liter V8 engine. Uh, in this tune, this is a 360 horsepower engine. Obviously very powerful. This is mated to the six-speed automatic, which is called the Steptronic Automatic because the manual shift routed to the rear wheels. Uh, this car does have a sport package, so you're talking about a much more aggressive uh, set of rubber, suspension, seats, steering wheel, but definitely one of the best buys on the marketplace today in my mind. Uh, let's walk around it though because there's so much equipment on here and the condition's phenomenal. Then we'll take it for a spin. Stay tuned. Take a look just to exemplify the condition. Uh, there is no damage on this entire car. Uh, the whole entire body uh, is absolutely solid uh, and in fact reconditioned. But you know, there's a couple of stone chips across the front. Um, almost all of them are so minor, I really couldn't even point them out, even high depth. But uh, just got a light one here, it doesn't go through the primer. Uh, got a light one here, uh, as well as one here. But uh, that seems to be the worst of it. But let's walk around, obviously, because this is a sport package car. You can see the uh, front park sensors up front. Uh, you do have an automatic xenon headlamp there with uh, adaptive lighting. Uh, the lights will actually turn with the car. But the 18-inch uh, wheel on here is part of the Sport package. Uh, it is a Bridgestone Potenza run flat on here. Now the neat part is these are not the cheapest tires. The front size here is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It is something. It's 24540R18. But uh, not the cheapest tires, these are the OEM tires, but these are virtually brand new, better than 95%. Uh, pretty sure they were installed right before we purchased it, uh, as this was an off-lease vehicle. But look at the driver's side. I don't know how much of the reflection you can see on the silver paint there, but uh, it is uniform perfect on the driver's side. Uh, the wheels are in phenomenal condition as well. Uh, you don't always see that on cars with this low profile of tire. Uh, coming around to the rear, you can see the rear park sensors. Uh, the only real looks like uh, just a dimple here from uh, parallel parking um, but it doesn't go through the paint so it's very difficult to notice with my dirty hand there. Proper 550 eye badging. See the rear sunshade in the back window there. But down the passenger side, I mean it's a uniformly beautiful great color combo, excellent condition, virtually brand new car. In the rear of the 550 you're going to find a very very spacious trunk. Uh, we do have the full set of BMW floor mats see the rears uh, and the fronts as well. But take a look in there nice and deep uh, over there. On the left you're going to find the full set of BMW owner's manuals. Uh, we do have two keys for the car, which is nice that it came with that. And then under here you're going to find an untouched spare tire and assembly. Uh, inside you're going to find excellent condition among the uh, sports seats up here. Uh, they traditionally wear at the edge of the bolster here. Uh, there really isn't anywhere to discuss. Uh, really a great seat, probably one of the most supportive, a ton of uh, power options, but one of my favorite is this particular uh, thigh support that extends right at the bottom here. Uh, it's excellent on long trips, plus I have a uh, less than ideal back, but uh, BMW 5 Series, so you know, mid-size car uh, with essentially a full-size interior volume, but a uh, great layout. Obviously, the highest level 5 Series, you know, below the M5, uh, you can expect some uh, beautiful appointments. Sports steering wheel, uh, you've got the dark walnut trim in here as well as a automatic setting here for the Xenons. Uh, power tilt and telescope steering wheel with also a heated steering wheel function. Once behind the wheel you find some of the easiest, most simple legible gauges. You really only have two gauges in there. Uh, two gauge pods I should say that give you four gauges. Uh, fuel, your instant miles per gallon which is a traditional BMW hallmark but then just engine speed and uh, also your speedometer obviously. But multifunctional display right here that you can uh, control with the turn signal stock. Uh, go through a whole bunch of information on there. Uh, but great steering wheel, obviously sports set. Uh, automatic wipers, press this once to confirm that the wipers are on uh, and this little light illuminates. But up top here you're going to find BMW's iDrive system. Uh, this being an 06 is one of the most advanced versions of this because a lot of people have some uh, difficulty to begin with. Uh, no reason to be scared of it. It's actually a very, very simple, intuitive system. Uh, you can go through your navigation, this will take you through all of your uh, audio, or, or so they call it entertainment settings. Uh, you do have some climate uh, options in here that you can customize, uh, as well as communication. Once your uh, phone is paired, uh, it'll upload your phone book even right into the BMW nav system here. 
Uh, definitely my favorite Bluetooth as well, but regardless, you can experience that on your own time. Uh, below that, you're gonna find the automatic uh, climate control settings. Just hit auto, dial up your favorite temperature, and let the BMW modulate that for you. Right below here, you're gonna find a single disc. Uh, it's part of the uh, premium sound system. You do have a six disc CD changer in the glove box that pairs with it, so single disc here. Uh, below that, DVD system. Uh, that DVD drive is for the navigation system because it is a DVD-based system. Uh, heated seats up here. You'll find them for both the uh, driver and passenger. Two buttons in front of that. One will turn on the park distance control, which you'll see uh, on the readout there. Uh, it gives you a graphic display with colors to show you what your approximation is to other cars around you or other objects for that matter. Right here you're going to find the essentially basic shifter for the automatic. Just pop it right in the drive. All six speeds will rocket you forward. Uh, you have the option to pop in the left here. It's going to take you into the drive sport mode. It's going to allow the engine to rev a little bit higher before it shifts. Uh, and then just literally in that mode, take it, uh, push it forward to put it in the manual mode or pull it back to go into manual mode. Uh, downshift forward, pull back to upshift, and then right above my head, you're going to find BMW's factory power moon. Back seat of the 5 Series, uh, you're going to find a very, very comfortable environment. Um, this leather really does look brand new. Got a nice bulky console here with a couple cup holders as well as a little bit of storage in the middle. But you do have the rear sunshade package, which in addition to the power rear sunshade behind my head, uh, you also have individual shades in the rear doors. It's nice. Behind the wheel of the 550, it's a uh, sports car all the way. It uh, handles amazing, uh, impeccably balanced, and it's hard to believe that this is actually a you know medium to large size four-door luxury sedan. Uh, this particular example, with 41,000 miles on it, it's uh, Just laboring along at 45 miles an hour is uh, extremely comfortable. Quiet, serene, easy, just a uh, nice simple car to drive. I mean, it's as comfortable as a Lexus. I mean, you still feel a little bit more of the edge, but what really sets this car apart is the fact that you can just pop it in sport mode uh, and instantly it's a 360 horsepower sedan that just wants to run wild. Give a little bit of a roll on, but first gear and sport bone in this car, it's a lot of thrust. Wow, it just pins you back and it makes such a distinct V8 sound. That's going to sound pretty cool. And then it can just dig right back in. The torque right across the rev range is really, really strong in this V8, and uh, paired to the six speed, it really makes the most of the power band. After spending time behind the wheel of a car like this, I mean, there's nothing about this driving experience that takes this car away from brand new. Uh, BMW does include their maintenance with their cars, so this car, uh, and including the brake pads and rotors, uh, is still covered. Obviously, uh, we try to make sure that we have the absolute top quality car, so this car has gone through its maintenance. But, I mean, look at the color combo, the drivability, the, the amenities. And it's a pretty sexy 5 Series. Got three big pieces of information here. Uh, I have the original BMW window sticker. Uh, the car did have an MSRP of 65700 so you're talking about uh, you know, just a small chunk of change for a car there. Uh, I also have the BMW, the BMW. I also have the BMW Vehicle History Report. Now on there you'll find that the bumper to bumper warranty runs through March 27th, 2010 or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. Uh, but obviously a very well maintained car. Uh, also the Vehicle uh, History Report from AutoCheck here, uh, it is a... Uh, Perfect auto check, uh, clean history, no issues. It does qualify for auto check vehicle buyback protection. Uh, but this was a leased car, and uh, we were lucky enough to have the vehicle end up in our hands here. But uh, check out our website. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com, where you'll find 60 or even more pictures of this particular car. Also, check out our YouTube channel. You'll find us at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for having some fun with us in this 550 day. Tune in with us next time. We'll see you soon.